It looks like we have a few updates on the Deshaun Watson trade front. Firstly, the Miami Dolphins, the team that had been in the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes from the beginning, the team that all everyone was reporting was interested, had made those overtures. They were done with Tua Tagovailoa. Everyone had said that this was the place where Watson was going to go. We learned just this week that if Watson is traded, it will not be to the Miami Dolphins. General Manager Chris Greer, who said last season that the team did its due diligence on Watson before ultimately deciding against trading for him, said this past Wednesday that the door is shut on Watson and that 2020 first-round pick Tua Tagovailoa is their quarterback moving forward. So that's one part of the story. The Miami Dolphins, the team that had showed the most amount of interest, literally going to the lengths of investigating this on their own dime, on their own accord. The, that is how deep the Miami Dolphins were at, at one point tr- in wanting to trade for Deshaun Watson. That's done. It's over. Um, and it looks like to attack by Lois, their quarterback there. Great. Now, from the Deshaun Watson standpoint and the Texan standpoint specifically, Lovey Smith was on Pat McAfee shows the, the other day, and he had some interesting things to say, and he kind of laid out a picture of where he sees the team moving forward, and it doesn't really involve Deshaun Watson. Uh, he said that he has no idea if Deshaun Watson will be the quarterback for the team moving forward, and he thinks that both parties will eventually benefit from the situation. Read into that what you will. I'm reading into it, and I think everyone with a, with a brain, honestly, knows that that means he's not going to be on the team moving forward. They're going to try to trade him. The Texans want compensation. Deshaun wants to be on a place where he thinks he can go out and win. That's fine. Again, the legal troubles and, and everything he's going through, with notwithstanding, there is one team that I think is going to make a run at Deshaun Watson and a serious run at that that could use a dramatic update at, at the quarterback position that could offer the Texans compensation and player compensation that would be worthy of Deshaun Watson. And that team is the Minnesota Vikings. Think about it. Minnesota Vikings have been pretty much 500 to maybe slightly above 500 every year in the Kirk Cousins era. They drastically overpaid for Kirk Cousins, and he never came up in big moments. Outside of one playoff win in uh, against the New Orleans Saints back in 2019, I believe, he has not come up big. So you have that, and you have a situation where you hear that there's a new regime. The new regime is coming in. They're trying to start fresh. They want to get started off on, a, on the right foot because you're coming off of the Mike Zimmer regime, which was full of so much potential. The defense was great. They made an NFC title game with Case Keenum at quarterback and then decided to overpay for Kirk Cousins. So, and it just seems like after that, none of it was the same. They never were re- able to recapture that magic they had in that from that 2017 Case Keenum, uh, Steph- Stephon Diggs-led team. In fact, Stephon Diggs, partly because of the Kirk Cousins situation, left the team. So, I mean, it, you have that. But with, with a fresh start and knowing what we know with that the Vikings were kind of cold on uh, Kirk Cousins moving forward, Mike Zimmer, the former coach, was really cold on him as well. The reports are coming out now about that. If, you, if the Vikings were to offer Kirk Cousins, and you're going to have to trade away a few first-round picks, at least two first-round picks, I think given the situation, I don't see the Texans finding something else that is going to be that is going to beat that, honestly. Especially especially considering we don't know exactly what the legal situation is going to be, you know, by the time next season happens. This is including the fact of Deshaun Watson. The longer he stays out, the less he's going to be worth because he's going to be away from football longer and longer. He already sat out all last year. What are you going to do, sit him out again? No. So... I think that is something the Texans would be willing to part with. And I think that Watson, if he gets past these legal troubles, if if all that is cleared, again, big if. But Watson, from a football standpoint, on the Minnesota Vikings, with Justin Jefferson, with a healthy Adam Thielen, they could make some noise. That They would be a serious threat to the Packers, who, again, we don't know what the Packers situation is going to be next year. Is Aaron Rodgers going to play? Is he not going to play? 
The Bears, are they going to be much better? Probably not. Who knows? The Lions, yes, they have D.C. They have a great coach. They have a fairly good quarterback. But they're still a work in progress. So if the Minnesota Vikings want to take advantage of what could be an unprecedented opportunity if Aaron Rodgers does, in fact, move on, I think you go all in. And I think that's actually what they're going to end up doing. So whatever. We'll see. Hey, everyone, we hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Until next time, keep it real.